Our next speaker moved from the naturally beautiful country of Canada to the grey, climately challenged United Kingdom to work on making better life decisions. <laughs> Her main weakness is the ability to speak sarcasm, but not understand it. <laughs> she enjoys Italian food and long walk with other people's dogs. <laughs> with her speech entitled, Haters Gonna Hear, please join me in welcoming Steph Green, everybody! <laughs> would agree that this statement applies to them. People either love me or hate me. <laughs> you are not alone. <laughs> I am also an acquired taste, and let me tell you some of the reasons why. First things first, I'm a realist, so I see the positives and all of the negatives in every situation. I want everything I touch to be more efficient, and this could be because my father was a man of few words, and those words were often, Steph, get to the point. <laughs> Second, I'm honest to a fault. So I'll tell you if you have something in your teeth, in your nose, I'll even tell strangers if their fly is down. So this, <laughs> combined with my very, very dry, sarcastic sense of humor, means I often come across as quite cheeky. <laughs> have you ever heard of musical tone deafness? Some of us. So I'm just tone deaf in general. <laughs> okay, I'm about as expressive as an automated answering service. You get the point. <laughs> so because of these traits, I'm often seen in a certain light. People mistake my realism for pessimism. So for example, when I was a university student, several people went to my supervisor and said that I came across as very rude, when I thought I was just your stereotypical shy student. Recently, I was in an interview and I was labeled as overconfident. First of all, what does that even mean? <laughs> and secondly, I got the job, so clearly <laughs> it was warranted. <laughs> but then I started thinking, because people are perceiving me this way, how am I ever going to progress in my career? If I'm trying to be my, the best polite Canadian I can be, but people are still seeing me as arrogant. Oh, <laughs> and then it clicked. Haters are gonna hate. So I'm never going to please everyone. Am I going to be the next Obama winning people over with my charisma? Probably not. But I am going to win you over because I show results again and again. Steve Jobs, was he the most likable person? No. But was he successful? Yeah, he was. So I learned to play to my strengths. So I want you all to take a moment and think, is there something that you've been worrying about too much simply because of what other people think? not because of your own opinion, just what other people are placing on you. And if you are, here are three things that I do that can help you shut out the haters. First, surround yourself with the right people. We've all heard it before, but a 2002 study labeled very happy people said the only difference between unhappy and happy subjects were good social relationships. If people are going to judge you for who you are, rather than ask you how you got there, you don't need them. <laughs> Second, create a self-esteem bank. So, do things that you are good at, but also enjoy, so that when things come crashing down in one area of your life, you can still pick yourself back up. And lastly, identify your mood changers. So what are some of the things that immediately make you more happy and confident? So you in the audience, what are some things that make you immediately happy? Chocolate. 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 <laughs> Lots of food. <laughs> so for me, that's a playlist full of Kanye West. 
Okay. <laughs> you can knock him all you want, but he does wonders for the ego. <laughs> 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 so, what I want you to take away from this today is to go away being your authentic self. Haters are going to hate you no matter what you do, so I want to leave you with these words attributed to Winston Churchill. You have enemies? Good. That means you've stood up for something sometime in your life. Stand up for yourself. Hey. <laughs>